Hello, welcome back. In this video, we're going to learn how to make a property line around our building and then also make some setback lines. These are all going to be lines that show up in our site plan and we'll then import a Google map and throw that on behind it. Okay, so let's get into it. Alright, so now what I'm going to do is uh, take my existing structure here, um, which is it's fairly small. It's 21 feet wide and it's 40 feet deep. And this is going to fit in a typical Chicago city lot that is 25 feet wide by 125 feet deep. Under the massing and site tab, I'm going to property line. I'm going to do this by sketching. If I had my distances and bearings from a topographic map from a site surveyor, I could also go about it that way too. So by sketch, I'm going to just go and draw out my lines here. And so I got 25 feet. For my property from left to right, I'm going to go down, I'm going to make sure I'm going down straight 90 in my case here, 125 feet, enter, throw that over, and let's see if I can reference it and just go up, there we go, we can check that off when we're done, and you can go ahead and move that if you had to orientate your uh, building to like center, you could also mess around with centering these lines up as well. Um, one way you could do that, it's under architecture, set a reference plane, snap that to the center of your building and go straight up. Then click on your property, go to move, snap to the center, then bring that over. Now our setbacks for our yard, 20 feet in the city of Chicago from the sidewalk to the uh, front of your house. So under the architecture tab, we can go and do detail line. Uh, I'm sorry, under the annotate tab, we can go ahead and do a detail line. This detail line, we can draw it with hidden lines. And we can do an offset of 20 feet from the front of the property. And we'll have to trim that in a second. Now, code that I've seen for the city of Chicago is... Uh, five feet total in side yard setbacks. And so we could say two and a half on either side. So I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna to go to annotate detail line, hidden line. We're gonna change our offset to 2.5 feet. And I'm just gonna draw that down the side of the property and that's actually going to the opposite side that I wanted. So I'm gonna to to draw that from bottom to top in this case and then escape top to bottom in that case there. Now the minimum setback for the house is 30 feet off the back in Chicago, um, but I'm excluding a detached garage on this kind of lot. So if we want to just define how far back we can move our house, that's 30 feet. So if we go to detail line and do a 30 foot offset and draw that, and I'm having trouble. There we go. Uh, now I have a line that's defining that, that rear setback as well for the house. Now I can go less or more with my property if I wanted to move everything over. I can just highlight it all, pull down control, make sure I get all the pieces that I want. And I could just nudge that up or bump it up, keeping everything in my property and my setbacks. And now I have this space allocated for garage pretty much back here and then uh, backyard. Now I'm going to actually go through and draw out the garage real quick. Architecture tab, wall, and as we draw this garage, I'm going to say finish face, exterior. And as I draw it, uh, 25 feet deep should be just fine. Just so you know, a typical parking space is 18 feet deep and nine feet wide. Uh, that's a parking space in a parking lot. Um, so if I go 25 feet deep by 20, uh, that's fair enough for a detached garage. I'm gonna wanna take this marker here and bump that up for my elevations so that they can see the garage. I also wanna make an additional one potentially and throw that in. So I'm just gonna copy and paste one in. So that way I can see the elevation of the uh, house and then also of the garage. And so that should populate under my elevations. I have north one and north. 
And uh, I want to just rename this one to like North Garage, North House. You can hide these on my site by highlighting one, right click and say hide in view category. Now all those have disappeared. So I have my property lines, I have my setbacks. Uh, with these setback lines, I can clean them up by dragging them in. And a faster way to do this would just be to go by corners. So I'll show a couple different ones. There we go. And I'm going to save this. Uh, we'll import a Google Map image by just going insert. And we can insert an image. And then we can scale that image. Um, I actually have a video on that uh, later that you can search for um, where I bring in a Google Map and scale it. Uh, so I'll actually not do that in this video because you can just watch that other video and I keep this one a little bit shorter. Don't forget to save and subscribe.